Hey guys, it's Ryan again. Today, we'll be talking about lights, uh, primarily on the planted side. I'll go over some of the salt water and reef lights as well, but why they're important, why we need them, and how we can go about improving what we have. So we'll go over a few of these. We'll shut off all of these lights, try to get a better view. Show you how this one in particular, this AI, it's the Prime, it's the freshwater variant. It's all Bluetooth controlled. A lot of the fluval lights are now too. We'll show some of those functions off and explain all that for you. And uh, let's get to it. So I'm gonna lead off with my favorite light, which is obviously on the tank for a reason. It is the AI Prime. It is the 16 Freshwater. It's really cool because A, it's all controlled by your phone. You can do your sunrise, sunset. It gives you pretty much an unlimited amount of points where you can adjust your lights, have them get dimmer and brighter, kind of mimic clouds going through. With the LEDs in today's technology, a little bit goes a long way. I'll talk later about the Fluval Aqua Sky, for example. It's kind of our entry LED light that we have. It has all the same features. You can't control it as much as far as points in the day, but you can still grow a whole lot with it as far as the freshwater side. Uh, they do have a marine light as well that you can do just as much with. Even with this, it can be overkill. You don't have to run them at 100%. The only reason we're doing that here with these lights is because we're trying to grow this out fast. We're running CO2. Every light has its purpose. It's like a tool. Screwdrivers work better for certain things compared to a hammer. Being we're trying to grow this out real quick, we're trying to give it as much light as we can, as much nutrients as we can, as much CO2 as we can. As I was saying, these lights are fully controllable. You have friends come over and you just want to be funny, you can do blues, you can do greens, reds. We're just running a basic setup, as far as a little bit of color on everything else, and then just crank everything else up. And the cool part about that is you can come here. This is your AI app. You can go through, you can name your tank, you can go to your live demo and do all that, and play with the colors as I just was. You can come here and go to lighting. You can see your schedule. If I want to, you can go anywhere you want as far as your on time and off time. I can slide this to here. I can add and say if I want to shut it off midday for a little bit, I can do that. It is now off. We can do the demo and as it goes through, you will see it slowly start to turn on. It's on, it'll go through its little sunset thing because I just turned it off midday. And then it'll go back to it. And you get to cool, do cool things like that with it, especially if you're not there during the day and you just want to have everything off. You can do that so that way when you are home, you can really crank up the light and you can enjoy your tank. Starting prices on these, I believe, are somewhere around 200 to 10. You do have to get the mounting arm separate. It does come with a gooseneck option in two sizes, a 12 and an 18 inch. You can also get a hanging kit to where if you want to, you can suspend it from a ceiling or a shelf. It comes with a steel cable and it'll just hang and free float. Looks really clean. I like that option a little better. I have that at my house. All right, so next up, we have the Fluval planted version. This is the third generation of it. This is the light from just that light. We did shut off the AI. Now with this, you can get it in a variety of sizes. I believe it's 12 to 60 inches, depending on what size you get. But each one does incrementally grow up, go up, so you can have one for any tank that you really need. You don't have to get three or four different lights and kind of use that center brace that a lot of aquariums have. Uh, with this too, you can do the same thing as the other one. You can come through. This is all the lights for the store. We can go to that one. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. So we can come here and pick the correct light this time. This is your option. You do have just a manual mode. And you can go through and do the same thing and just pick the lights you wanna run. Now, just because they're on here, you really don't wanna run those a whole lot. You just wanna run them just enough to kind of give it that accent of color if you run a whole lot of blues or you run a whole lot of those reds you can promote algae growth and then you'll have a tank full of algae and no one will be happy this is generally what i run it at 
there's not a lot of that red or blue it's a whole lot of the white light and you can do the same thing as far as set your points a day and then we can come down here and do the same thing as the AI light and go through the preview do your quick sunrise lights on during the day and then it'll go off and through your sunset and you can run a little bit of a moonlight feature should you want to and then you can have that shut off later with this is primarily if we want to run a whole lot for plants like this as well a lot of your red plants your carpeting plants the white plants and things like that they do like a whole lot of light the light is going to be what promotes most of your growth you hear a lot of people oh i don't have co2 you really don't need the co2 it just kind of lets you cheat because you can get you have a little more wide gap for your nutrient value with just a strong light if you don't have your nutrients dialed in that's where you'll see algae create a problem as well so as long as you do have that strongish light if we're trying to do some fancier plants you'll be good to go with that so up next we have the starter light i was kind of talking about this is the fluval aqua sky i love this light it does give that nice crisp clear white light so you kind of get the true colors you don't have to worry about like that yellow tannins looking effect you don't have that blue reef effect it's just a nice looking light with this i ran this and i'm going to run this on like the 40 breeders i had this running on the 125s as well grew plants phenomenally a little bit of light can go a long way and this is an excellent way to start that you do have plants like anubias your cryptoform when dead eyes a lot of your stem plants as well such as like your wisteria water sprite uh bacopa things like that can all grow phenomenally with this light alone especially like your anubias and your crypts they don't really need light other if you have the tank in a bright room you can have that light alone grow those plants you may not get the best color out of them but they'll still be that deep green you'll still get some reds you'll still get that bronzish yellow color from the crypts it's an excellent way to start this light too is all controlled controlled by your phone this one only has the four channels though it's your white your red your green and your blue but it's an excellent way to start and it'll do a lot of work for you so the last of the fluval line that we use here is the marine yet again this is the third generation of that as you can see it kind of gives more of that blue color to try to help give the cup corals the color that we see yet again this is controlled by your phone this one has two or three different blue channels a purple channel and a couple of whites as well just because i don't have the phone i'd still come through on the little button on the side you can adjust your power you can go to your blue same thing you can adjust your power and then it does have a little moonlight feature that you can do go back through and cycle it you can brighten everything back up so that's kind of the basic rundown of a lot of the freshwater lights we have just one of the fluval marine ones just because it's here it's available it's easy to use it's the same product um, you can see the new AI lights that we have on our main system as well we'll be running each of these products the fluval the AI and a third light to be determined on the plant system coming up if you got any other questions come in talk to me we'll go over plants and light needs and things like that um, what was the rest of that I was supposed to say thanks for watching like subscribe if you have any other questions hit us in the comments yeah something like that okay cool we did it <laughs> that's not an outro hey the last one wasn't an outro either but it worked